In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five finger options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click, you can see your hand comes. And then when I click the first option come uh, with the option number, the title and the detailed text. And then the second call out come for the second finger, then the third finger, fourth and fifth. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe it now. And you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. The link is provided in the video description section. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and I have downloaded this particular image from the net. And if you have this image, you can use it, but it should be a PNG file. As you can see here, this is a white background. If you don't have any PNG file, then you can use this particular image or any image from the net and go to format. You can remove the background, just click it here. And you can see here the area which is highlighted in pink that area will be removed and you can see here one fingertip also and this bottom also that also will be removed so in that case what i'm going to do mark areas to keep i'm just going to highlight only the the fingertip there and this wrist area also so you can see here this is clearly uh the hand is there but still there's something you know you can see some white are there that again you can zoom it and then also you can remove that area also i'm just going to mark area as remove you can see here i can just do like this all right so once this is done just say keep changes so you can see here the background has been removed and then you can crop it the, the image let me just crop it and keep it maybe this much size so the next step is either you can keep the hand as it is or you can just give some dark color combination for example let me just select this hand right mouse click you can go to format picture and you can go to picture here and you can see here picture color is there corrections are there so i'm going to the picture corrections and brightness and contrast i'm going to just make it a minus 100 percent so it becomes a black you can see here and picture color also again if you want to give some different colors you can just say recolor here and you can give some different color like this so this is the simplest way you can just change the 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 color for the any image like this so once this is done now i'm going to add a five call outs so i'm going to rotate this uh, the hand here the thumb should come to the left side for that go to format you can see here rotate and i can just simply say flip horizontal okay and if you want to increase or decrease the size of the hand you can do that one then go to insert shapes scroll down you can see the call outs i'm going to use this particular call out can you see a speech bubble just select the speech bubble and put it here at the thumb side and then you can see the small orange point i'm just moving it this side something like this you can see here let me just zoom in and then i'm going to edit this shape for that right mouse click edit point you can see here this one i want to give some curve effect let me just move it like this you can see here something like this you can do it okay and then if you want reduce increase or whatever you can just do that one and then whichever color you like you can give any color for example i'm going to give this color and shape outline also i'm going to give the same color and make it somewhat transparent all right and then i'm going to add the second one press ctrl d increase the size you can see here again right mouse click edit point you can see here either you can use this one or i can just simply delete this i can add a new one also you can see again i'm just going to the call outs and again i'm going to select the same thing this side i'm just going to put it here like this and then move this one here and again let me just increase the size further and move this one here like this and let me just edit points and then again this also i'm going to give some something like this you can see here some effect like this or if you want you can make it sorry edit point again something like this also you can do it and this again i'm going to give some different color make it more transparent shape outline again give the same color 
so this is my second call out like this i have to design or add the remaining call outs either i can use this one or i can just simply go to insert and add it so here uh, there's very less space is there so better i can just move this one again just rotate it you can see here i can make it something like this and this also i can just bring it down and put this side here so this is the second one press ctrl d you can see here either you want this one you can just rotate it like this so it is rot uh, coming to this one maybe the hand size is very big i'm just going to reduce the hand size you can see here and again i can just arrange it according to the requirement so this is my option three you can see here again edit point i can just change it change the direction whichever direction i want i can do like this and this color also i can go and give some different color combination maybe this color combination go to format shape outline again give the same color and then go to insert shapes i'm going to do it here for this somewhat smaller again move this one here which is pointing to this again edit points just follow the same practice you can see here so again this one i'm going to give maybe a red color again increase the transparency again give the same outline and then the last one you can see here further i can reduce the size i can keep something like this and i can give maybe the color which is i think the color we have already given so this color i can give and that's it let me just make it more less transparent so you can see here our basic design is ready now it's time to add the text now let's add the text go to insert text box and here i'm going to type the first option number 01 you can make it white font or any other color you want you can just choose it make it bold and any font of your choice you can select i'm just selecting the hand of sean you can see here this is option number one and you can add the detailed text or you can add the title also So here I'm just adding the detailed text again white font the hand of Sean reduce the font size you can see here it looks something like this and then I can just simply select this to control D and add it for the rest of the options so you can see here the options and then it's time to change the numbers So our design is ready and if you want to give animation effect you can give the animation for that you need to just group this one first you can see here group this and this one also I'm just going to group it I'm going to group it this one and this one so you can select like this again hold the shift key and select each one and group it and again I'm just going to select it and group it so we have group it now it's a simple animation effect you can give. So let me just close the format background go to the animations enable the animation pane i'm going to select this hand first and then the save fly in so it comes from down and then this should come maybe the animation you can give for example more entrance effects either you can use basic zoom or stretch or whichever way you want you can just do it something like this and again i'm going to use this animation so you can see here using this one I can just simply select or I can double click this one and start clicking on the options all right so if I just play it looks something like this you know so hand comes there then the first option second third fourth and fifth option 